Hello, my name is Professor Valdez Gant, and I will be your instructor for the Math 1325 Business Calculus for Business and Economics majors course. Um, the first thing that I wanted to do here is talk about eCampus and how you log on and what is inside of it so that you know what resources are at your disposal as well as assignments. So the first thing that we need to do is to get to eCampus. So I'm just going to come here. If you don't know how to get there, this is your first time. Um, you can just do eCampus.dccd.edu and then that will take you to this particular um, site and then you click on access courses and then we are at this page again. Again, if this is your first time um, logging into eCampus, meaning that you are a new student to North Lake, um, you will need to create a username and password. Um, your username is just your student ID with the letter E in front and then initially your password will be the same thing. So if you forget that, you can always scroll down here to how to log in new users and they tell you all this information. Um, if you have any issues to where this doesn't work and prompt you to create a new password after you enter in both this for your username and password then you need to contact this number here or go to this link so that you can get help so my um, username and login is a little different so I'm just going to go ahead and log in so once you're able to log in this is what it will look like um, there's a couple of different ways to get to our course. Um, one way is to just scroll down here to my announcements and view it this way. Uh, the way that I prefer is for you to go to the courses tab. So once you go to the courses tab, all your courses that use eCampus will be listed here. Now, of course, you won't see all of these because these are all of mine for the courses I teach. The course that you'll be looking for here and this is for the fall 2014 semester will either be this course here or this one here. So for people that watch this particular video in subsequent semesters, um, this will be pretty much the same. The only thing that will be different will be the section numbers. And so uh, this is the primary section number. And for those of you that are doing uh, distance learning through the Dallas um, DCCD College, um, this is your section, though, okay? So just be mindful of which one you have. For today's demonstration, I am going to go to go to the template um, because it looks very similar to what both of these courses will look like. Um, these courses um, are not prepared yet since this is earlier in the semester, so um, I'm just going to use the template to demonstrate everything. So once we're here, the first thing that I recommend that you do is to look at the announcements. Um, all the little things that I want you to know to try to help you to get started are in the announcements. And so um, I try to put it there first since it pops up first so that you can have everything at your disposal just right there. And so I'll just go through these quickly. Um, this is a welcome announcement. This particular announcement tells you when your tenant of due dates are. Okay. Well, this next one here, this talks about how I want you to submit your assignments. Um, any assignments such as SLO activities um, or any homework that you may need to show me to prove that you've done something um, correctly but just entered it wrong into My Labs Plus um, will need to be sent to me as a PDF file. Um, and so all that information is here. And so these other announcements are about just going in and, and uh, for this one, accessing exams to the testing center. Uh, this recording was done a little while ago, but it's pretty much the same. So make sure you uh, look at this particular look at this particular um, video and go ahead and view that when it's time for you to take an exam. Okay, um, if you find that you're in a situation where you need to retake an exam, um, here is my policy on that. 
to uh, just give you a summary. You can only retake exams one or two. Um, it has to be one or the other, not both. And these are the dates um, that you have to do it by. And I have, if you're going to actually take a retake, there is some things that you need to do to be able to earn the right to do that. To be able to get into My Labs Plus, um, and you you should be watching this video um, either before or after this one. Um, you'll see here it gives you instructions on how to either purchase the textbook or the standalone access code or the bundle, which is textbook and access code together um, via going to the North Lake Bookstore. So these other announcements here are if you, for some reason, are having issues with your browser, uh, being able to run My Labs Plus, uh, these particular announcements could possibly help you out. Here, this particular announcement is about the temporary access code that I mentioned in the My Lab Plus um, video. And so you have to around September 16th, 2014, to be able to um, do that. So if this is subsequent semesters, just think it is going to be the beginning of the third week of the semester. That's when the access code will run out. So review assignments. Um, also in the My Labs Plus video, this was covered. If you do the review assignments um, by this particular date, then you will receive five bonus points in your first exam. And for those of you that are WX students or uh, may find yourself needing to be a WX student, here is my policy and description of that. Um, in short, receiving a WX grade is saying that I've completed enough of the course to be able to be allowed to finish it the subsequent semester. And so this is used as a retention tool. Um, to help those that you know may have some things come up during the semester to where you can't finish out but you're on um, you're on pace to actually finish it if you didn't have those interruptions in the semester so you have to do work consistently throughout the semester um, I have to have regular attendance and so online that means regularly doing assignments doing tests on time that sort of thing so if you're doing that and then we get to the end of the semester and for whatever reason uh, you can't finish it out, then if you scored 70 or higher on each of your exams, then um, in, in essence you'll be able to take advantage of the WX grade. So good thing about it is of course you get to finish the course the following semester, start where you left off. The bad thing about it is you have to pay for the course again. So you need to sort of assess the pros and cons for yourself and see which works for you. If you are an international student that has to take 12 hours, um, you may not be able to take advantage of this. Okay, So you, uh, for anyone that's looking to do the WX contract and, and receive a WX grade, you need to check with your advisor first before trying to commit to this. And so this is something that you earn. This is something that is not given to you. So, of course, you need to t um, talk with your advisor, but then check with me to see that um, you are where you need to be for that. All right. Um, and so this particular announcement you won't see. I'll send this one out when it gets to the time towards the end of the semester. So the first thing here are the announcements. Second thing is instructor info. If you need to get in contact with me, here is um, where you can find out where I am. Okay. It has my email address, my office telephone number, as well as my mobile telephone number. Um, I am open to you emailing or texting me um, when you need to get something from me and get a response from me. Um, I will normally respond to you uh, within 24 hours. Um, depending on what's going on during the semester, that may extend to 36 hours. If you need a quick response from me, I would suggest that you call me. Um, on my mobile number. That would be the best way. Uh, please keep the times that you call within respectable hours. Okay, <clears throat> And what I mean by that is uh, no later than 8.30 p.m. So um, <clears throat> if you have read the welcome letter that I've sent you, 
Um, you've also seen that one of the things that you need to do is go to the start here folder. And so, of course, you know, you knew to come here because this is the video that you're watching right now coming from this link. So the My Labs Plus videos, if you haven't watched those yet, are right here. And your course checklist, the things that you need to be going through to make sure that you hit everything is here. And so your syllabus is here. And um, WX contract policy is listed here again. So your course calendar. Um, you also need to do this, the course setup quiz, which says, yes, I have seen these videos and I have read the syllabus and I know what's going on with it. So um, you need to get a perfect score on this particular quiz. If you don't, I don't grade anything until you do. Okay? And of course, I also mentioned in the welcome email that you need to fill out the student profile survey. If you have not already done so, please do it at this time. Okay, and so I need this information because one of the things that's very important is for me to know where you're going to take your exams. And this is how I'm collecting that info. If I don't get a response from you, then that tells me that you are not expecting to uh, take your exams or you're going to be taking them at one of the main North Lake campuses. Okay. So. Next, this is uh, introductions or what we will call the discussion area. And so you just need to come in here and introduce yourself to the class, or to, um, to the people that are in the class. I highly encourage you to use this particular discussion board to uh, discuss problems, discuss issues that you may have with fellow students, um, arrange time with students to, to be able to um, have study groups or whatnot. Um, you may be able to do it via Skype or meet somewhere if you're local. Um, probably Skype if you're not local, but I highly encourage that here. Okay. Now, to get into the meat of what we're um, doing here, um, I've broken out everything into weeks. And so I'm just going to go through the first uh, few weeks here to kind of show you how everything is laid out. So for week one, um, you'll see here that I have the notes for this particular section. And so here I have uh, section 10.1 and 10.2 together. Um, these notes also come from the professor lecture notes that are here. So this tells you that there is a link to that. So uh, if you want to look at them quickly or if you want to do it week by week, you can do it this way. Okay. Um, here, if you want extra practice, um, these are not graded, but if you want extra practice, you can do these. Okay. Um, and so the way that this is pretty much laid out is you have uh, week one and you'll have uh, notes and then from that sometimes you'll have uh, quizzes or SLO activities and so we're going to move on to that so week two so you see we have more notes more notes and then we have our first quiz these quizzes are quizzes that are in eCampus of course that do count for a grade um, your quiz average is 10% of your total grade in this course, so please do not blow these off, okay? They are very important for you to do, and it's very easy for you to make 100 on these, okay? You also see here SLO activity, so I would like for you to um, do these activities and then do the corresponding SLO quiz that is in My Labs Plus, and you need to see the My Labs Plus video to um, get more information about that. So there's two ways you can submit this particular assignment, um, the SLO activities. So you can either submit them here at this link, or you can just do it, fill it out, and then email it to me as a, as a scanned PDF document attachment onto an email. Okay. And so uh, we'll just keep going here. So we'll see we got week three. Keep on going, same kind of thing. And then week four, you'll see that once we get to the end of a particular section here, and we're real close, this will be quiz two. And then week five. 